Removal. Step 1. Prepping for removal. Begin by ensuring the ignition is switched off. Set the steering to straight ahead. Turn the air suspension switch to the off position. Refer to the owner's manual for switch location. Open the hood of the vehicle. Removal. Step 2. Disconnecting the compressor. Disconnect the battery. Unbolt and remove the battery. Unbolt and remove the windshield washer reservoir tank to gain access to the compressor assembly. Disconnect the airlines by first depressing the orange-colored quick-connect locking rings while pulling simultaneously outward on the airline. Carefully disconnect the electrical connector. Removal. Step 3. Removing the compressor. Unbolt the fasteners retaining the compressor onto the vehicle. Disconnect the junction box. Then, remove the assembly from its mounting location. Install. Step 1. Prepping for installation. Remove the old compressor from the black factory mounting bracket. Install the factory mounting bracket onto the new compressor assembly. You will need to reuse the original bolts and washer removed from the bracket. Make sure to install the factory bracket in the correct configuration. Using the plastic dryer plugs supplied with the new compressor, plug off the extra holes on the top of the air dryer. These push in like the airline. Four-wheel drive modules use two airlines, while two-wheel drive modules use only one airline. Install. Step 2. Installing the compressor. Install the new assembly. Fasten the assembly to the vehicle using the original mounting bolts. Reattach the junction box. Install the air lines into the air dryer. The dryer contains self-locking collets. Make sure they are inserted all the way in to prevent leakage. Plug in the electrical connector. Reinstall the washer reservoir. Reinstall the battery.
Install. Step 3. Finishing the installation. Reconnect the battery. Turn the air suspension switch to the on position. Start the engine, wait 2 minutes. Operate the raising function of the car's electronics.